Let's take a look at this four to one multiplexer. Here's our four to one multiplexer. Notice my Y output, and this is the one we're gonna be concerned with. This is the Y not output. I'm not concerned about this output right now. This is my chip enable input. Notice it's got a, a line above the E, which means it requires a logic low in order for the output to be active, or in other words, for this chip to work. Here is where I'm going to dial in which one of my inputs I want to pass through to my output. So looking at my inputs here, this would be zero input, one input, two input, three input. So if both switches is off, this would represent a binary zero. So this would be my zero input. Notice when I activate the input, it passes through to the Y output. Now notice this, if I apply an active high to this input, nothing happens because the chip is disabled. I will enable the chip and now my output works. Notice that none of these other inputs are passing through to the output, only this first one here because I've got zero dialed in. Now, if I activate this first switch, this would represent a zero and a one, which would be binary one. This is my number one input. Remember, this is my number zero input. This is my number one input. Now the output is active. Nothing happens with the zero input. Nothing happens with the number two input or the number three input. Just the number two input, number one input, I'm sorry. Now, if I activate this switch, this would be binary two, which is gonna be this input. Notice nothing happens here. Remember, this is input zero, input one, input two. I've got input two addressed here, so input two will work. Now, if I activate this input, we know this is binary three, one, one, so this would be input zero, input one, input two. This would be by our input three. Notice the output is activated by input three. Or I should say the information on input three passes through to the output. So a four to one multiplexer means I'm gonna have four inputs. I must address which input here that I want to pass through to the Y output.